Now we're going to configure a tray uh, with only snaps. Uh, the first thing is lay them out on your tray just to make sure you have enough gaps in between each product. And this is going to avoid any misbends in the future. So lay them out and then we'll continue next to put the divider. Since we're vending tall snacks, um, the first step is to grab a tall divider. Uh, food pack, slide the food pack in. And we're going to kind of measure the snack that we're vending. We're gonna give it enough room and place the divider. So for this case, we're gonna put it here. Then uh, second step is to make sure that you put this in first in the, in the inside part of the tray and then align it to the back. Um, get the cable out of the way, let's make sure you don't cut it. And let's make sure we give enough room to the actual snack. You can't squeeze it because that's going to cause the product to get stuck. So that should be more than enough room to come out. Okay, moving on. Uh, second snack, put the foot peg also a toy divider and uh, we're gonna, gonna go in room. We'll get the cable out of the way perfect see the, the it's not touching any corners uh, with this kind of product because they're very fluffy um, and they have a lot of air in the back this is what you want to avoid so if I, if I move it to the left a couple more What's going to happen is when the product comes out, it's going to hang out there. And the second and the third product might push uh, three products out. So this is not the right way to do it. You have to give this product enough room to come out. So we'll put it back. Perfect. Okay, we'll do the same with the third snack. It's also going to take care of the space for the fourth one. So. Put back. Just give it a little boom. Perfect. So now we got all the spaces for the four snacks. Okay, so to bend the snacks, uh, we are going to require an easy flex motor. Okay, uh, the easy flex motor is the one that takes clips. Uh, this clip basically make up the vision uh, so you can place your product in the belt. Uh, the first, the first thing you need to know is the clips going into the hole. The clip in the hole. Don't clip them in between. This is very important because when the gear goes around, it pops them out, this gear over here. First thing I like to do when clipping is I like to place a clip in the front of the motor. And you can do this in the back, in the front, it, at the end of the day, it's all gonna match up. Okay. Since we're running a big bag, we're going to place the clip, I mean the product here, and then we're going to measure the width of the product. And we'll place a clip right behind it. Uh, so in this case, I have six little holes in between, okay? Now, here's a special case with this guy. Since they're so big, we wanna give a little bit of space in between bags. So we're gonna place a clip at either, you could do it either no space or one space. As long as we separate it uh, from the next. So then we're gonna count six again, and then one. Six, and then one. We continue on, six, and then one. Six, and then one. Six and then one. 
Okay, so now we clip. This is gonna give room for the products so they're not touching each other and it'll snag the one behind it. Perfect. Now we gotta move on to underneath the motor, okay? There's no way to move this belt. It's stuck, you see that? Because it has a, a, a gearbox here. So we just gotta clip it from underneath. Now, take in count that the motion of the motor is moving forward. So when the clips go underneath, they're gonna come in this direction and they're gonna go like this. So it's like, you gotta think that you get clipping from front to back that way. Okay, so we're going to continue on. Uh, we, oh, we gotta give the one space here. So we got that one space. And then we're going to count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Then one space. Six, one space, three, six. Obviously, I can I can see the little holes from here. It may be a little bit hard to see in the video, but if you just move the bell a little bit that way, you can see them all together. Three, six. One space, three, six, one space, three, six, one space, one, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. So we end up like that. Remember, those move that way, this one's move this direction. Now we have to put the pusher. So basically we just grab the belt, see this gap, slides in to the gap. And since we're going to have a big product like that, we need more surface in the back. So we're gonna add this hat. This one just slides in and you're gonna hear a clip. And we're also going to add some rounds for this, um, for the sides of the front of the motor. Now, this is going to depend on the spacing that you have from the motor to the divider. And I'll show you once we place this motor. So now we place our motor and we're gonna measure and see how many rounds we're gonna need. Seems like we're gonna need about three and three, left and right. So what we do, as you see this uh, hooks over here, uh, this plastic one, the black ones, you have a, um, a gap on here. So you can slide them in. So you go in from the top on your right side. And that's how you put them in place. And then for your left side, it's a bit different. Uh, each ramp has the right side, which has a gap, and on the left, on the other side, you're gonna see the hooks on, on this piece. See these hooks? Oh, so they hook up like that. So the hooks are gonna go from underneath to the side. So I pop that one out. So I'll put that one back on. And how, that's how you attach the ramps. The next step is to find the closest plug. You plug it in. Put the front of the motor first from in the inside, just like the dividers. Align it and it should fall in place. Front and then back. Perfect. For a regular size bag, be considered a regular snack. So Again, we place a clip on the front. Uh, we're going to put the place the product 
against the front clip and then we'll measure the spacing. So this is about right, uh, four in between. Four spaces in between. So I'm just gonna run through this one. On this case, since it's just a regular snack, it's not fluffy or anything like that. Uh, we're just gonna place clips right after the other one with, with no spacing in between. So we'll do four. Uh, and I'm just gonna uh, speed up the video because it's not it's gonna be uh, too long, but uh, just follow the steps and make sure you keep clipping four in between all the way across and underneath. three and four so when you're finished there should be four in between we'll do the same we'll put the uh, the hat and we have a um, motor ready to place in there okay for this motor we're gonna need two ramps two on the left on the, on the left and the right Place the motor, align it, find the closest plug. Okay, so I got my motors ready, already clipped. Put the first one in. the front first, then the back, find the closest plug, and then the second one. Okay, now the only thing we're missing is the uh, product tippers. And basically, this is a piece that you clip on these. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, from lowest to highest. Goes in, clips on. This avoids the product from falling over. That's why we follow the product tipper. So we'll put this one a little bit lower, lower product. And uh, notice this one. Um, if we put it here too low, um, you can work with that, but not recommended. So we have a part that what we can do is we put this side piece, which it comes with the uh, with the with the with the spots to put the product tipper, and we can screw it back on. It has one screw in the front. and then we can put it on. For this side, what we can do is, if you require, because right now we can just put this one here. But if for any reason you need to put another one on this side, just add one of these dividers without the foot peg all the way to the left. And that's gonna give you the, the the room to put one of these on, on the left side if you require but in this case it's just fine this will stop it from coming on uh tug in the, the wire just make sure you don't have any any wires behind the tray and now uh, you should be all set 